Hi everyone and welcome to the Basic Cloud channel. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps of how to stream Internet of Things messages to an event hub. And we can use stream analytics to analyze the data. And afterwards, we can use Power BI to make it a graph call. Okay, let's get started. I'm already logged in to my resource group, which is called Basic Cloud. And from here, I can add a new event. It's the first component we will need. So just click on the create button, I'll give it a name, I'll just call it basic clouds. Here's the standard pricing tier, my subscription. Click on create. So this will take a minute or two before the event up is created. Okay, so now my event hub is created. I can click on the refresh button and here we can see that the basic clouds event hub is created. So from here, I need to create an event hub because there are no event hubs yet. It's just a child of the other event hub. I call this basic clouds. I'll leave the partition count to two and the retention to one. The retention can be one to seven days. The partition count can be 2 to 32. I'll just click on create. Event up is created. So once that is created, I can click on it and I can go to the shared access policies because the next step that we're going to do is we are going to stream data into this event hub. Um, and for that, we need a shared access policy. And now I'm on my basic cloud event hub, but I need to go one level higher. In here, I can see there's a default one. It's called the root manage shared access key. I prefer to leave that one alone. So I'll just click on add and a new one, basic clouds policy. I'll set it to managed and then we're good to go. It's going to create the SAS policy, basic clouds policy, which has all the permissions to put data in this event hub. This will also take a few seconds to create. Here we go. You can click on it and from there we can grab the connection string primary key. I just copy it. And then I have all the information that I will need to manage my application that will stream data into this event hub. So I already opened my Internet of Things application in Visual Studio and I will need to replace the event of connection string value for my value and I will change the event hub name which we can grab from the overview here it is basic clouds so basic clouds let's just fill it in here in the event of name save the data um, this application is also available for download and the link is in the description field okay then we can click on start and it will stream a lot of sensor data into this event hub. So the event hub will get filled with all sorts of data, temperature data from sensors. Now I have my event hub created and now it's time to analyze the data that is being sent to the event hub and that we can do with a stream analytics job. So we can just click on add, search for stream analytics. analytics. Click on stream analytics job and click on create. Just have to give it a name. Clouds. And we'll just use my existing subscription. Here we go. So the stream analytics job will be created. Take a few seconds. In the meantime, the sensor data is still sent to the event hub. So here we go, click on refresh, stream analytics job. And the stream analytics jobs requires an input. It requires a query and it can have an output. So let's start with the input. Just click on inputs, click on the add button. And we'll just call it basic 
cloud event hub because that is our input. It uses a data stream from an event hub in my namespace. And my namespace is, uh, is called basic clouds and my event hub is also called basic clouds. And it will use the policy that I created to get the data. So let's click on create. Here we go, it's created, great. Then the next step is to create a query. So if we click on query, we get a default query, select everything from the event hub. So just remove the into, just select star from basic cloud event hub. Click on save, okay. And of course we would like to test if that works, but before we can do that, we will need some sample data. So if you click on the three dots behind the input, we can select sample data from input, and here we can select the time range. I'll set it to zero minutes and 20 seconds, and it will grab the data which is sent using my application to the event hub, and it will sample the data for 20 seconds. Just click on OK. And now it will start the sampling of the input. And now we can click on the test button. So it will test this query against the sample data. So here we can see that there's some sensor information in the event hub. And we can read that from the input. Nice. So the next step is that we can get the data into Power BI. And for that, we will need an output. So just click on output, click on add. And we'll give this the alias basic cloud output. And we're going to sync to Power BI. And for Power BI, we need to authorize so now once I'm, I authorized, I can see my workspaces and I can give it a new data set. So this will be the data within Power BI, which can, will contain the event of data. So the data set name, I will give it uh, sensor data. And the table name will be sensor data as well. Okay, click on create. This will create the data in Power BI. It's just testing my output now. Just wait for that to finish. Yeah, okay. Created a successful connection. So I will get the input from the event hub. I will use a query to get specific data from there and I will output it to Power BI to do some reporting. We saw that uh, every test was completed successfully. So once that is done, we can click on the start button and select now. Okay, so this will take a moment to start. And once that is complete, the mechanism is in place to get the data from the event up into Power BI. Okay, and as we can see, the stream analytics job is now running. So the next step is to go to Power BI, create a new dashboard and get the data in there. So I'm already logged on to Power BI and from the workspace we can click on create and here we select create a new dashboard. Just give it a name, sensor data and hit create. So now we have a empty dashboard and just click on add tile. And of course, from here, we want to select real-time data, streaming data. And here we can see we have our sensor data, which is being created by the stream analytics job. Click on next. And we have a few options here. We can select a, a card, a line chart, clustered bar chart, clustered column chart, and a gouge. Click on card, add a value, temperature. And on the left, we can see it also has the value of 122. Okay, so hit next, give the name, temperature, and hit apply. Now the second one, just hit it again. Click on sensor data, 
select line chart and the value, the time, the value is the temperature, and we'll do that for let's say one minute. Hit next, give the name, temper, temperature, plus minute, and hit apply. Okay, so um, it will check the data and it will display the temperature for the last minute. It can take a few minutes to start running. Okay, so it took, I think, 20 seconds to get the data in here. And I now can see the temperature in the graph. I can also set it to focus mode. Okay. So this is the end of uh, this tutorial. So what we've seen is that we can stream Internet of Things data into the event hub. And with the stream analytics job, we can get that as an input and we can query some data out of there and then put it into Power BI or a storage account or a SQL database or whatever you like. And from there, we can make a visual out of Power BI and just make it graphical for the end user. Okay, so that's it for today. The Internet of Things application that is available from the description field, so you can use that um, to get data in there. If you have any comments, post them in the comments field below. And if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. And if you like this video, give it a thumb up. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.